Yo guys, what is up? I'm glad to see you in another video. Hope you're having a fantastic day. I know things are not that easy for you, but rest assured, things will get better. Just always try to be happy and drink enough water. So in this video, I will be showing you how you can optimize your CPU or processor for gaming. Alright, without any delays, let's get this video started with a short intro. Download this file via the link in the description. Once you have downloaded it, move it to your desktop and let's continue. Now we are going to extract this zipped file here. Once you've extracted it, open the folder. Now highlight and extract all these zipped files. Then move all the extracted folders to your desktop as well. Now we are going to take this step by step so you can follow up. Now we will start with MSI mode tool, open the folder and run it as an administrator. Once it is opened, set your CPU and your GPU to high priority. And make sure you remove all the limits on the components. Just like this, then hit apply and close it. Now let's move on to CPU Part Control Utility, open the folder and run the installer with administrator privileges. Just click OK through the installer and launch it. Now as you can see my CPU is already optimized because from the previous video in this playlist, we installed driver booster power plan which disabled CPU parking and boosted our performance. If you haven't watched that video, make sure to click on the top right corner right now to go to the playlist and watch from part 1 to this video so you don't miss out on any improvements in your computer. So let's move on. Now make sure your CPU settings for your power profile is set exactly like mine unless you won't get the maximum performance off of your CPU. Now close part control software and let's continue. Now open the next folder. The first thing we are going to do is to disable the default timer resolution service on our CPU. This will remove the default timer service on your computer. Once it is done, you should see a prompt box saying timer resolution has been successfully disabled. Click OK and now run timer resolution service as administrator. Also make sure you are connected to the internet unless this won't work. Just be patient and give it some time. Now you will see this visual basic setup. Click next and let it do its thing. You may see a prompt saying you have a later version of Visual C runtime. Just click OK and continue. Once the installation is complete, click finish. 
Now it is installing the timer service. You will see a prompt telling you it has been successfully installed and activated. Click OK and continue. Now lastly open the quick CPU folder and run the installer. Now click next and scale through the installation, it's very easy. Now wait for it to automatically run the software. As you can see, this is the real-time stats of my CPU. You should see yours too. Now what we will be doing here is very easy. If you are using the default power plan of Windows, you should see how much performance you are losing by only using the power plan. What about other hidden settings? So we are going to just click on the ascending arrow on the top left corner to enable maximum CPU performance. Now just hit apply and that's it. As you can see from my task manager my CPU is overclocked and unlocked for more performance. Alright my dear friends, that's all for this video. Make sure to follow up the playlist by subscribing to my channel. Don't forget to subscribe to Kira and Remo Easy Gaming. Cause they will be adding more videos with me which will help provide more performance for your computer. Alright guys, if this video was helpful consider dropping a massive like on this video and I will catch you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching.